Hi, past couple of years have been transformational for the media industry. Viewers increasingly turned to OTT streaming platforms for entertainment, like new direct-to-consumer apps, free ad-supported streaming TV services, etc. As a content provider, your topmost priority is to focus on your core value proposition and strength, that is, content creation. With the plethora of choices available for subscribers, it's absolutely critical to have the best content created and available. However, most of the content providers spend an enormous amount of time on content delivery, subscriber experience, and integration between different tools. Today, YouTube has huge global reach and massively scalable video streaming service with very granular and flexible monetization capabilities. Imagine, as a content provider, you get to build on the delivery infrastructure and monetization capabilities similar to that of YouTube. Introducing an integrated solution of Google Media CDN and Google Ad Manager, which provides industry's best subscriber experience by bringing together the magic of YouTube and Google's advertising technology. Now, what is Media CDN? Media CDN is Google's purpose-built media delivery solution, leveraging the same infrastructure that is used to serve YouTube content to over 2 billion users around the world. Over the past decade, Google has built tremendous capacity and reach in over 200 countries and territories and more than 1300 cities around the globe. Modern video applications are sensitive to fluctuations in latency, so getting content closer to users enables higher bit rates and reduces rebuffers, resulting in a superior experience for the end user. Media CDN integrates this infrastructure strength with additional performance, security, and extensibility features to help you deliver and scale exceptional viewer experience. And Google's Ad Manager's dynamic ad insertion needs no introduction. It's an industry-leading server-side video infrastructure technology that identifies ads within the video stream server-side, allowing you to deliver uniquely targeted ads to every viewer across all content and all devices. Serving ads into the fragmented OTT landscape can be incredibly complicated. DAI enables a seamless broadcast quality experience with minimal latency or buffering between program content and ads across all devices. Let me now hand this over to my colleague David Lin, who is going to show integration of these two products. All right, let's take a look at how this integration actually plays out and how it's implemented. So let's assume that Google Ad Manager has already been configured here. We've already created a live stream. We're just looping Big Buck Bunny uh, on the back end and creating a live uh, linear stream out of that. We've enabled token authentication and we've also enabled conventional path forwarding. Let's take a look at what goes into the media CDN piece. We have three different routes that we're gonna configure here. One for the master manifest, one for the media playlists, and one for the media segments. Now for the master manifest, we can see that we're matching on any master.m3u8. We're actually gonna send these straight to the Google Ad Manager's dynamic ad insertion as an origin. Here, dynamic ad insertion is actually redirecting uh, clients that first connect to them on stream creation, redirect them to us. They're gonna, DAI is gonna generate a short duration token. The token is gonna be kept in the HDNEA query parameter, and it's gonna be using the HMAC SHA-256 algorithm to generate an HMAC. And so on this route, when we're serving that master manifest from Google DAI, we will require tokens and we will verify the HMAC against the HMAC key set defined here. This key set is holding the same authentication key that we've uploaded to Google Ad Manager to actually generate the original short duration token. Here, we'll just, we'll just verify it with the same shared secret. Now, we'll also be adding signatures to the returned uh, master manifest. We wanna to generate tokens here and generate a Google managed long duration token because that short duration token isn't valid for long to prevent uh, easy link sharing. We'll create a long duration token using a Google managed key set. It's gonna use asymmetric ED25519 uh, signatures for optimal performance and security. And we're gonna copy the ACL and ID parameters through to this long duration token. So now that we've passed this back, we're giving back a master manifest with the media playlist URLs modified with a long duration token. When the client comes back for those media playlists, now matching on any M3U8 that's not a master uh, M3U8, we're still gonna be proxying back to the dynamic ad insertion origin here. 
but we will be now requiring tokens and verifying against that long key set to verify the long duration token. And now instead of um, appending, you know, generating a new long duration token valid for another day, we're actually just going to propagate the existing long duration token into the URLs for each media segment on the returned manifest. And now for the final, uh, now for the final uh, route for media segments that are going to be served, we're actually going to point at the content origin this time, and this is going to be actually ca cacheable content uh, that'll be served from media CDN's caches directly, but fill from the the um, content origin. And here again, we just require tokens. We'll verify it with the long key set these ED25519 signatures, and that's it. Now that we have this set up, why don't we take a look at what it actually looks like. By pinging Google Ad Manager's uh, dynamic ad insertion, it's gonna give us a redirect that actually passes us back to a media CDN URL, but this time includes the HDNEA short duration token. Once that gets sent through media CDN, we validate the, the HMAC, uh, make sure that it's valid, right? Make sure that it hasn't expired yet. And we'll respond back with a master playlist that includes the media playlist URLs and this edge cache token, a long duration token that is, um, that's going to be valid for the rest of the playback session. When we actually pull one of these media playlists, we're again including the long duration token this time, getting authenticated, and we'll return back, we'll return back TS segments that include the same long duration token that's been propagated uh, from before. And here we'll also see where Ad Manager's uh, dynamic ad insertion is, is playing in and, and actually doing a manipulation of the manifest and inserting direct ad TS segments. Here you'll notice that there's no token attached. These are unauthenticated ad segments. And this probably isn't the premium content that you care about protecting so much. Um, and, and that's it. You can see here that we have Big Buck Bunny looping here uh, and, and we have uh, an exciting uh, Nest Hub ad that gets stitched in uh, every so often. There it is. So that's all, all it takes. You know, some, some quick Google Ad Manager uh, configurations, some quick media CDN edits involving the dual token authentication, and you should be up and running uh, to personalize and monetize your streams end-to-end -end with Google Cloud Platform and Google Ad Manager.